So how much of this, because I think there's a, there's an ideological acceptance to what's happening. Like mm -hmm. They want people to come across this border. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they want the PR hassles of the way it's happening right now, though. I so, don't think they care. You don't think they care? No, I don't think so. I don't think they care. I, I really don't think... Um, I mean, I think he could be down in, you know, approval rating of 10, and they wouldn't care. He's just going to keep pushing through. This is fascinating, though, because this is the exact opposite of what we were sold. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. If you look at Joe Biden's history, mm -hmm. some would say he's actually a moderate. Now, he's, no, he's not, not a moderate. No, he's not. However, what he seemed to be was a guy who would float around whatever the middle of the Democratic Party was at that time. Like in the 90s, he was like, I'm going to pass a crime bill. No, he's he's been convinced that he is going to be the guy that will fundamentally transform America. Um, and he is. He is. We will be a different nation from here on out after his first four years. We will. Um, and I think he has been convinced that in the long run, he'll be remembered fondly. And he doesn't care what people say. But damn now. the consequences. Damn the consequences. Because this is the, his activity on the border reminds me very closely as to his activity in Afghanistan, where like he decided, like ideologically, yes, he wanted troops out of Afghanistan. Yes, he wants a more open border, right? Mm -hmm. But like usually, what happens when you want those things, and then something goes wrong on the ground, you adjust, you move, you don't just press on. You're not Mao. You know what I mean? You don't just press through, you know, tens of millions of people dying, right? Unless you're trying to collapse the system so it can be reset into something else. Mm. Think of what Barack Obama said yesterday on ABC. He didn't just say it was an open border policy that needs to be stopped. He said it's an open border policy that has to be stopped, and we've been having problems for a long time, and the whole system needs to be changed. Right. So is that <laughs> really what they're doing here? I think so. Do they? I mean, Stu, look at look at what we talked about on banking today on yeah. on the radio show. What is that? That is putting that is positively going to put your local bank out of business. We're talking about a new thing that the mm -hmm. the president said he wants uh, uh, he wants tabs kept on people that put $600 or move $600 out of their account, their banking account. That'll, every transaction will be monitored by the federal government now. Absolutely against the Fourth Amendment. But that will put the small bank out of business, which will only make the big banks bigger and too big to fail. Instead of shoring up diversity and making sure that the banking system has a lot of different stops to it, they're putting all of their eggs into the Fed. And they know that. They know that. They know exactly what they're doing. And they're taking away anybody that can, can stop them on the new reset. So explain to me why Joe Biden is this, the guy that, that should be doing this in their mind. Because if you think about Biden for a second, you have a guy who, yes, he is a liberal. Yes, he's believed these things, but he was, supposed to be the pragmatic option, right? The guy who's going to bring normalcy back. And over and over again, he seems to be a supremely ideological guy. Here's a guy who got into the White House, I think, by ignoring crazy left-wing Twitter and, All and an pushing act. back against it. All, All an, an act. act. All an act. All an act. I mean, everything he said was an act. He's not doing any of that. He's not bringing us back. He's not bringing us back together. He's not a uniter. Um, mm -hmm. All of the things that he said he would do, he's not doing. I think people misunderstand the intoxicating uh, power of you are going to be remembered as the man who fixed America, healed the planet, changed us fundamentally, and got us ready for the next century. You will forever be in the category of George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, FDR. Uh, but, but Glenn, Barack Obama has a profile that would indicate to me he would do those types of things. He was a community organizer. He was hanging out with Joe communist is professors. Old. Is that it? I, think, I really believe I, I that, think that is. Might be part his of it. son that he's his son that he actually believed in and actually had some integrity, I guess, died. 
-hmm. So he doesn't have a son to carry on the Biden name. His other son is a complete and total screw up. Yeah. You want to be remembered as the guy who lost election after election after election with a son that was a screw up? Or do you want and your family embezzled and committed treason against the United States with China and other places? No, no. Barack Obama had 60 senators, not 50, 60. He could pass these things without all the tricks that they're trying to do now. And yes, he passed some. But that's what Obama said in his book was the problem. Mm. He learned pass it all in the first two years because you won't have a chance to do it. Pass it all in the first two years. Think of the mm. price that we're going to pay two years down the road. I said today, you'll see $5, $6, maybe even $10 gasoline before this president is out of office. Okay, think of the price. Think of the 8% inflation. I think that's a dream come true compared to what it's going to be. 8% inflation. Consider what happens when we have terrorist strikes because of the border and Afghanistan. Do you realize the price we're going to pay? They have to have all of this stuff passed. They have to control it. They have to have it passed so they'll never lose an election again. They have to have it. That's why all of the voting stuff is in this reconciliation bill. Mm, it does seem like a lot of that. And you, you went over some of that uh, earlier. Um, haven't we taught them some of these lessons, though? If you think of the lessons that even conservatives have taught, yeah, we fought you on Obamacare, but now it's through and we're done. We're done fighting on that because you won and now it exists forever. Um, we tend to do these types of things. Our, our voters, right-wing voters, do this too. They start loving these programs. You, look, test the popularity of the LBJ programs with Republicans. 80 and 90 percent approval. I mean, we we have a very short attention span when it comes to pushing back against free stuff. And I'm, they know that. I'm currently working on a, a piece with a uh, with a very powerful member of uh, the House or Senate. And um, uh, and hopefully we're going to be uh, introducing it real soon. And it is a uh, a restatement of our principles. And any Republican that won't stand on it, because it is truly only the restatement of the Bill of Rights, that's it. And if you won't sign up on it, there's a problem. And uh, it is, there are a lot of things that we can disagree on, but we will never stop fighting on these things. And anything that frays these points from the Bill of Rights, we will stand against.